Here is the list of top 10 armed drones in the world with highest weapons load capacity. Unmanned combat aerial vehicles, UCAVs, are unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, that carry aircraft ordnance such as missiles, ATGMs, and or bombs in hardpoints for drone attacks and are employed for intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition, and reconnaissance. Drones are generally operated in real-time by humans, with varying degrees of autonomy. 1. General Atomics Avenger The Avenger's six exterior wing hardpoints allow them to carry missiles, bombs, and ammo. Surface-to-air anti-tank missiles were fired from the AGM-114. 250-pound GPU-39 bomb with a narrow diameter 500-pound GBU-12 GBU-49 Pathway 2 laser-guided bombs 1,000 pounds GBU-16 laser-guided bomb and GBU-48 precision-guided bomb are among the weapons that the UAS carries. It may also carry guided bombs such as the GBU-30 GBU-32 and GBU-38 Joint Direct Attack Munition The internal weapons compartment of the UAS can hold up to 1,588 kg of precise bombs giving a total of 2,948 kg of weapons payload. 2. MQ-9B Sky Guardian General Atomics Aeronautical Systems designed the next-generation Predator B multi-mission remotely piloted aircraft for the United States Armed Forces. The remotely piloted aircraft has nine heart points, four under each wing and one in the centerline, as well as precision-guided munitions paved with four laser-guided bombs and brimstone two air-to-surface missiles. The Sky Guardian can carry 363 kilograms of payloads in the fuselage and 1814 kilograms of payloads payloads externally for a total payload of 2,177 kg. 3. Altius U. This is a transect and secure developed medium-altitude long-endurance unmanned air vehicle for the Russian Air Force and Navy to conduct surveillance strikes and electronic attack operations. The lieutenant is visually impressive and its reconnaissance capabilities are equivalent to the US-made MQ-9 Reaper and RQ-4 Global Hawk unmanned aerial vehicles. The LOTS will serve as the backbone of Russia's heavy drone fleet. It first went to the skies on August 20, 2019 and will enter service in 2021. It can carry a combat payload of 2,000 pounds. 4. MQ-9A Reaper Predator B. The MQ-9 is a medium to high altitude remotely piloted aircraft system with a long endurance mission. Its primary mission is to act as a persistent hunter killer against developing targets in support of joint force commander objectives. The GBU-12 Paveway is one of the weapons carried by the MQ-9. Two bombs with laser guidance the Hellfire AGM-114-2 missiles air to ground. It has a total weapons payload of 1,750 kilograms, 3,750 pounds, thanks to the AIM-9 Sidewinder and the GBU-30 a joint direct attack munition. 5. MQ-1 Predator. This is an American remotely piloted aircraft created by General Atomics that was primarily utilized for air-to-air -air and air-to-ground armaments by the U.S. Air Force and the Central Intelligence Agency, as well as a laser designator. The MQ-1 Predator can carry a variety of precision-guided and smart weapons, including the Hellfire laser-directed anti-tank missile and the BAD smart weapon. The MQ-1 Predator's maximum payload capacity is 1361 kilos. 6. Bayraktar Akinci. This is a Turkish unmanned combat aerial vehicle with a high altitude and long endurance. The first three units will enter service with the Turkish Armed Forces on August 29, 2021. Akinci is equipped with a variety of armaments, such as smart micro-munitions and general-purpose explosives. It's also believed to be able to fire Boston or Octagon air-to-air -air missiles both within and beyond observable range. The Akinci can also fire Turkish-made rockets on some long-range air-launch cruise missiles with a range of up to 150 miles. It has a payload capacity of 400 kilograms inside and 950 kilograms external, bringing the total combat load to 1,300 kilograms. 7. CH-5 Rainbow. This is the most recent UCAV in the Rainbow series, 
and it is a medium-altitude long-endurance combat UAV with a wingspan of 21 meters and a payload of up to 1,200 kilos, making it 2.6 times larger than prior combat UAVs. Though it resembles the MQ-9 Reaper in appearance, the CH-5 Rainbow can carry up to 16 air-to-ground weaponry, including Blue Arrow 7 laser-guided air-to-surface missiles, TG-100 laser GPS-guided bombs, and HJ-10 anti-tank missiles. 8. Ya-1 United 40 Bond Smart I-2. It is an unmanned aerial vehicle developed by ADCOM Systems primarily for the United Arab Emirates Air Force and capable of remotely controlled or autonomous flight operations. The armed variants of the Ya-1 United 40 include Ya-1 United 40 air-to-ground missiles with a rotary launcher that can carry 1,000 kilograms of payload, thunder cruise missiles from Ya-1 torpedoes and guided bombs from Mechanica. 9. Eads Talarian. The European Aeronautic Defence Space created and built this medium-altitude long-endurance unmanned aerial vehicle for France, Germany, and Spain. The UAV's twin jet engine is used mostly for intelligence surveillance target acquisition and reconnaissance operations. This military drone can carry a maximum payload of 800 kilos of weapons and can perform out missions on land, sea, and in the actual environment. 10. Thai Axingor. Turkey is now producing a range of advanced military drones and has extensive experience using them for both active reconnaissance and active combat missions by itself in Syria and through proxy in Azerbaijan during their conflict with Armenia. The Thai Aksingor has a large payload capacity and is intended for a range of missions including signals intelligence, maritime patrol missions, long-term surveillance as well as combat missions. The Thai Aksingor entered into production in early 2020. 11. Bayraktar TB-2. The Bayraktar TB-2 is a medium-altitude long-endurance unmanned combat aerial vehicle capable of remotely controlled or autonomous flight operations. It is manufactured by the Turkish company Baker primarily for the Turkish Armed Forces. The aircraft are monitored and controlled by an aircrew in a ground control station, including weapons employment. While the Turkish Armed Forces describes Bayraktar TB-2 as tactical UAV class, to prevent it from being a competitor to the Thai Anka UAV, international standards would classify it as a medium-altitude long-endurance UAV. As of 26 November 2021, the TB-2 drone had completed 400,000 flight hours globally. The largest operator of TB-2 drones is the Turkish military but an export model has been sold to the militaries of a number of other countries.